Hello and welcome back to the Horror of Video Games. Today I'm talking again about Resident Evil 4. Now everyone knows this game is absolutely amazing and then there's no re real reason for me to uh, describe and repeat why it's so good because we all know it's so good anyway. So I would like to point out some of the things about this game which I think in particular are the best about this game which maybe some other people may not have mentioned. Now I think the best bit in Resident Evil 4 by far has to be the moment when you're controlling Ashley by herself and you just have a flashlight to defend yourself with. In this section you are by far the most vulnerable in the entire game, you have no weapons, you have no way of defending yourself apart from using lanterns and throwing lanterns at people and hiding under desks and running away and opening doors and I think when I started playing this section with Ashley the first thing that came to mind was Fatal Frame. Now that game you're a defenseless girl, you're armed with a torch and you have to fight off ghosts and I immediately thought to myself in Resident Evil 4 when Ashley was by herself that this is basically Fatal Frame, this very short piece of the game is is, is like Fatal Frame, I thought that was amazing. Defenseless girl, by herself, with a flashlight, having to fight off suits of armour coming to life, and this also raises the interesting idea of inanimate objects. The second uh, really good bit of Resident Evil 4, which I'd like to mention, is the suspended cage section, where you have to fight the monster in this kind of elevated cage and you've got to unlock doors and then as you progress through the cage sections of the cage collapse into the into the uh, chasm below and I think this was fantastic for a number of reasons but the main reason is because in this section unlike the rest of the game the player is constricted the player's freedom of movement is restricted, you can't move as freely, and I think that it's this contrast between the rest of the game and this section where you can't move around, you can't escape, you have to run around in straight lines, you, you're you trapped by the corridors, you have to unlock door by door, and, it, and it ultimately it becomes a bit like Remake, really. You, that section of the game is Remake, and it's funny for me how it's when the game becomes like Remake in Resident Evil 4 is actually its best moments, really. And the um, final uh, point I wanted to make was about the prison section. Now this section is so short, it's incredible, it's literally one corridor in the whole game. But I think the atmosphere that's evoked in this section is fantastic, the mood is fantastic, you've got corpses hanging off the ceilings, you've got this horrible atmosphere, and I just really wish that the entire game was like that. Why couldn't the whole game be like in the prison? Why don't you just set Resident Evil 4 in a prison? Do it like that, rather than having all these open environments and this freedom of movement, and you can run around and run circles around zombies, and the prison section for me in Resident Evil 4 is such a missed opportunity. I feel like it's like a glimpse of what the game should have been, really. I feel like the game should have had the movement mechanics, the game should have had all the resource management, all the item management, all those developments, all those improvements, and being able to run around and freely and fine. But they could have still had restrictive environments, like demonstrated with the suspended cage environment and also the prison environment. I just wish the whole game was like that, and I think that's a terrible shame. It's funny for me that uh, it's when the game becomes like Remake, it's actually at its best. And I really, really do hope that when Resident Evil 7 comes out, that they take a few lessons from older games. And it's the restrictive environments, it's the corridors, it's the being stuck inside cages and horrible buildings. And I really, really wish they bring that back in the next game. And I don't want to be free to move around, I don't want to have freedom of movement, I want to be trapped, I want to be like in dead space, just going through a horrible environment, a horrible facility, and there's no escape, and it's just in Resident Evil 4 you have these glimpses of what the game could have been, and I feel, I can't help but feel disappointed uh, when, I, when I see these moments in the game where it could have been the whole game like this, and it's just a real shame. So yeah, those are just some of my thoughts, some of my observations on Resident Evil 4. Obviously a fantastic game, everyone knows it's a fantastic game, I'm not disputing that. I just wanted to point out the things in Resident Evil 4 that reminded me of Remake, and also it just reminds me why Remake is such a good game. Okay, so that's the end of the video, hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to comment, rate and subscribe. You can tweet me at the Horror of VG. I'll see you next time.